is coming Start sending your letters off to Santa Good morning my loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday and it is the last weekly vlog before Christmas. So funny story, uh, my power went out last night in the night, only upstairs and I, it won't turn back on. The fuse is gone and I can't turn it back on which means I currently have no heating. My boiler's upstairs off at the wall and it is absolutely freezing. Um, and I don't know why I can't turn the light. I think that the Christmas tree maybe blew the fuse. Because um, every time I flick it back up, it just goes straight back down again. Luckily, there's power downstairs. So I've been working literally since six in bed. Just plugged in my laptop downstairs. Started working down there. But I can't... There's, there's no power up here. I can't make myself a cup of tea. I'm freezing. Um, and I'm waiting for it to be an appropriate time for me to text my dad because it's early to ask him what's wrong with my my power. But while I sort out this little uh, debacle, I'm actually going to insert some clips here from last week. This next little portion is a little Fitbit incorporation. So I'm going to pop this in here now and I will see you guys after that for the rest of today. Speak to you in a second. Good morning everyone. Some of you who are a little bit more observant may notice that you've seen me here before and that I am in fact Emma from the past time traveling to you guys this week. So today is my birthday actually and I'm filming this video. So you're getting uh, my birthday from kind of two perspectives. Um, you're getting my celebration birthday and you've already had that in last week's vlog. But this week's vlog we are going to be talking about the fact that today is actually the end of Project 265. So I'm going to take you guys along for the day with me and kind of take you for the last day and show you what I get up to whilst also showing you how I go out and enjoy myself while still kind of managing my goals. Obviously it's my birthday and I'm going to let loose a bit and enjoy myself but I am all about balance and I am going to still go to the gym today. I still want to try and hit my protein goals today, my step goals today, but also enjoy myself, go and eat some delicious food, have some delicious drinks, uh, and celebrate my birthday. I use the Fitbit Sense 2, and I have done now for quite a few months. I use this to track my sleep, my exercise, my heart rate during my exercise, I track my steps every single day, and I also track my readiness score. Shall we check my readiness score today together? I have an 86 readiness score which is excellent readiness which means i've slept i'm well rested and my body is ready to do some exercise so i'm gonna go to london first i'm gonna go for brunch with my sister i'm gonna vlog this for my actual birthday vlog and then we will come back and we're gonna hit the gym we're gonna do back i've left back day for my birthday because because it's my favorite day and I wanna do my favorite day on my birthday. So we'll go smash session and just have a very, very lovely day. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hello, I'm home from London. It's already 2.30. Okay, I, I need to get moving. <laughs> so I just thought that I would really, really quickly, and it is gonna be quick because <laughs> I need to go to the gym and get up back up to London again. I thought I would just really quickly talk about um, how I kind of stay balanced at this time of year. Obviously this time of year, it is a time to celebrate. It's a time to treat yourself. It's a time to enjoy yourself. It's a time to get all of those delicious foods in. Christmas is very much a food-based holiday. For me, my birthday is very close to Christmas. So December in general for me is a time where I really need to actively try to find balance, which is something that I have struggled with in the past. I'm a very all or nothing kind of girl. You, do, you guys know that. Uh, it's very apparent in a lot of areas in my life. Like, I'm either the most dedicated person in the room or I absolutely couldn't care less and won't put any effort in. Really not the best way to be in anything, but it is how my brain is wired. But I've gotten very good at practicing balance, especially in my kind of fitness routine. I enjoy myself. I go out with my friends. I go out for meals. But I also live a very active and relatively healthy lifestyle and i'm quite proud of the lifestyle that i've built for myself and that i enjoy having and it's something that i enjoy and like to maintain but yeah at this time of year it definitely gets more difficult to hello i'm vlogging <coughs> one sec my dad no no i'm, I'm just taking the car oh hang on my dad's here <laughs> 
One second. Sorry, my dad gave me a bloody heart attack. He just walked past the window. Mm, train of thought gone. Finding balance at this time of year is difficult because you don't want to and shouldn't say no to fun experiences with your friends and your family and eating all these delicious foods that come around once a year. So my way of dealing with that is having like a few goals that I like to try and consistently hit. Project 265 is obviously my kind of best case scenario kind of day. Excuse all the mugs, I need to do the dishes. <laughs> but you know, at this time of year, I, I definitely scale it back. I try and hit a step goal every day as best as I could. I still try to hit around 10,000 steps. I try to train still three to four days a week if I can. If I can't, then that's completely fine. Like for example, today, I am gonna go to the gym because it's something that I love to do and I enjoy doing it and it makes me feel amazing and I want to feel my best on my birthday and uh, I also have a lovely like community at the gym so it'll be nice to see them on my birthday and go and say hello to everyone but not everybody feels that way about the gym if it's something that doesn't bring you as much joy as me then don't do it find something else go for a walk if you want to but i definitely think that food guilt is a huge 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 problem at this time of year for so many people and it's something that i have always struggled with having had a very 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 rough relationship with food in the past food guilt at this time of year is still creeps up on me sometimes i still definitely feel it and it's something that you have to kind of unlearn and learn that your body is deserving of food every single day and what those foods look like will be different every single day and Christmas is a time to enjoy those things and your goals will still be there on the 27th of December or whatever, you know? A few days, a week, a couple of weeks, a whole month even off of what you think your journey should be in the long run of how long your life is and what this journey should be which is basically just trying to have the healthiest life you can live in the circumstances that you have forever, it's not gonna make that much of a difference. So I just went out for lunch, I just had mussels and I ate loads of bread and I had cake and I had chips and I finished my sister's mac and cheese for her because she couldn't finish it. I was like, I will be having that too, thank you so much. I don't feel guilty for it, I enjoyed every bite of it. I'm going out for drinks, I'm going out for dinner, but I'm also gonna go move my body for an hour and go get some exercise in. And for me, that is enough balance. That makes me feel content and happy and confident. And I know that I'm doing something good for my body and I'm also doing something good for my brain. And I just wanted to say like, never feel guilty for enjoying your food at Christmas. If you've got goals and if you've got tunnel vision on those goals and you're working really hard, which I kind of have been doing for the past few months, you can make those goals fit with Christmas. It's not gonna completely derail you. You don't have to go on some crazy crash diet before and after Christmas to make up for Christmas. You don't have to do loads of extra exercise to make up for Christmas. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it enjoy the food, enjoy the company, focus on the memories and removing the stress away from the food will make it so much less likely for you to obsess over the food or to binge maybe on the food. Knowing that food is there every day, you can eat whenever you want to, it removes that sense of urgency like I only have this day, I have to eat all of the delicious foods. Just eat what you enjoy and eat until you're full. It's Christmas, we'll probably eat past being full and that is okay. Guys, it's a few days of the year. Just go and have fun. I'm going to go and enjoy myself. I'm going to go get my workout in. I'll track my workout on my Fitbit. I'll show you guys my stats for it. Um, what are my steps looking like today? So far, I'm on 8,000 steps, which is great. So let's go lift. Let's go do back day. I'm going to take off some of my makeup, but not all of it, because actually I think I am going to be quite pushed for time by the time I get home. We might have to do a little fast-forwarded workout which is a shame because I'd like to take my time, but I don't have that time to take. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. to 
to get a little bit of movement get my heart rate up a little bit i saw a couple of people i know uh and just had like an hour a really like relaxing workout i really enjoyed it and now i'm gonna get ready for the evening so i will put my stats from today's workout on the screen thank you fitbit and uh yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow and we're back to today so i just got off the phone with my dad we have power but not light so none of my ceiling lights work my lamps and stuff do we think there's a something's gone wrong somewhere which is not, not ideal but it's fine it is just fine but we've woken up to so much snow it really hammered it down last night and it's proper proper snowy this morning it's very beautiful um but i don't see myself going anywhere today I'm not gonna go to the gym, I'm not gonna go, I may not even go to step. I hate driving in the snow. But today is second tree day, which I'm, you will have already seen all of this. I'm filming it for a different video. Um, but if anything other than decorating happens today, I'll be sure to let you know. By the time you watch this, we're a week into the 12 days of Vidmas. Uh, the first one is actually going up for me tonight, which is very, very exciting. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know which your favorite has been so far. I would love to know. Let's have a good day. Let's have a great week. I just got a little gift. I'll give you three guesses who this is from. It's the babes at Tequila Rose. Tequila Rose, sorry. I actually needed an ice bucket, so perfect. I got a pink ice bucket, branded one. I don't have one, so I'm stocked up on Tequila Rose. A Tequila Rose apron. Oh, cute. Oh my God, this is actually so cool. It's a rose ice tray. Oh, I kind of love that. Another box of shot glasses. I think I have about 100 shot glasses at this point. A rose gold cocktail set. So we have the strainer, the shot glass, the crusher, obviously the shaker, everything you need to make cocktails. So this will be, oh my God, this has all come just in time for my party. I'm gonna have a whole station of tequila rose stuff. They're basically sponsoring my birthday party. <laughs> loads and loads of mini little bottles of tequila rose. Oh, we got a bottle of Prosecco and another bottle of tequila rose, of course. Oh, straws, they're rose gold. Fitting, <laughs> makes sense. Some of their tequila rose glasses. My friends are gonna be sick of tequila rose. <laughs> A ball ball with tequila rose on it. I'm gonna put this on my pink Christmas tree. <laughs> this is like top trumps, but with like UK women, like Nigella, oh my God, Kim, Kim and Aggie, from Kim and Aggie. Hilarious. Straubs, my favorite. Another mini. What's in here? A Prosecco stand. I literally ha have just bought a Prosecco stand. Absolutely hilarious to me. Hang on, let me put it together. Okay, I've put it all together. Look how cool. I'll probably end up just putting shots on these rather than these, but I thought for aesthetically pleasing reasons, I'd put it all together. Thank you so much, Tequila Rose. This is gonna be so fun on Friday. We're gonna have Tequila Rose on tap. Perfect, yay! The theme is, after all, a few of our favorite things, and Tequila Rose is among my favorite drinks, so perfect. I'm so glad that I can get everyone hammered on Tequila Rose. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Good morning, my loves. How are you? I hope you're well. It is Tuesday. So my, my monster is in a really awkward place because he's been replaced by the Christmas tree. I overslept this morning. I woke up at 8.30, which was two and a half hours after the time I'd set my alarm. Uh, I somehow snoozed my alarm literally six times. So clearly I needed the sleep, but I also need the time. <laughs> I really didn't want to sleep in but yeah clearly my body was like no bitch you are sleeping in no gym for me today that is taking a hit this week I don't think I'm gonna get one session in I've literally gone from training every day to vidmus and having absolutely zero time <laughs> Ah, it's fine it's fine I've got myself a little cup of tea and my little gingerbread mug where was this from doesn't say i got this a couple of years ago i love him he's so cute so today's plan i've just filmed a little job edited that and sent it over much later than planned obviously but what's the time it's one o'clock crap it's one o'clock already 
Oh, I'm stressed, guys. I'm stressed. It's fine. It is fine. I'll get everything done. I just have to. There is just no choice. I just have to. Filmed that ad. I sent that over. I'm really pleased with how it came out. So hopefully the brand approves it quickly because that needs to go live in two days. Um, so fingers crossed. That's on them now. <laughs> I'm now going to film two videos, two Vidmus videos, um, because tomorrow and Thursday I'm not in the house and then Friday is the party so basically and I go to I go to Taunton on Monday until the 23rd so today is basically the only day I have left to film Vidmus videos and I'm just gonna have to do some like midnight editing sessions over the next couple of days. I've been really ahead until I had one day where I was supposed to film two videos and couldn't for various reasons so now I'm two Vidmus videos behind and I'm quite stressed, but it's okay. I will figure it out. I'll figure it out. I just have to figure it out. There is just no choice. May mean that a couple of them are a little bit more low key than I was planning. Like may not be the videos that I planned, but as long as I get something up, it will be fine. So I'm just gonna recaffeinate. Um, I'm really glad that work is done. Um, and I'm gonna film a makeup video while the light is still good. And then I'm gonna film a sit downy video and then i need to do the description box for tonight's upload i'm halfway through an edit of a different video today so i've had a productive day but i just need to be working at like turbo speed over the next few days to one day today basically today today of all the days was not the day i needed to lie in honestly <laughs> so tomorrow um i am filming a video tomorrow um but it's going to be like a reset um party christmas like tomorrow is like a nice day um but it's a day i need time wise but i'm going to get my nails done i'm going for a wax um and i'm going to the theater with my sister for her birthday present we're going to see one woman show which we've both already seen i bought her tickets not knowing she'd already seen it because she was talking about how much she wanted to see it so i booked the tickets and then she ended up seeing it when she went to edinburgh fringe and i had already seen it so now we're both going to a show we've already seen to be honest so that's gone really well, but it's fine. It was amazing. Like I'm excited to see it again. Then Thursday, I am going to um, Cambridge to shoot with Alex Cameron um, to do a little lingerie nude photo shoot. And I'm on my period for it, which I'm really annoyed about. Honestly, I literally came on today and I'm like, why? <laughs> why does this have to happen? Like taking naked photos when you're on your period just doesn't quite hit the same, you know? It's hard to feel sexy when you're bleeding. But she's a magician, she'll make me look amazing. I wanna do my annual naked New Year's Day Instagram post. <laughs> so I'm excited for that, I am excited. I'll get loads of Instagram content from it. Um, and I could just make that a whole vlog in itself and make that a day, actually. We'll see. Anyway. Enough chat, I really need to get on, but I just thought I would say hello. If I don't speak too much today, this is why. I'm running around like a little headless chicken. So much prep to do for the party still, so I'm gonna have to do everything on Friday. Oh God, I still don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> it is just fine, it is just fine. Okay, andere, andere, let's go. Good evening. I still don't have lights upstairs, so. <laughs> Um, my Christmas tree is my only source of light and Santa is coming down my road but I don't have any change um, there's a Santa float that goes around my local area and um, they have collection boxes and I don't know where my wallet is my dad literally texted me to warn me <gasps> there it is do I have change? does anyone have change? coming down my road here we come. Let me put on a coat. Let's go see Santa. How are you? Have you been good as well? Good. Good. I'll see you soon, okay? Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's so wholesome. I just went out in slides. But I gave them some change. Here he comes. The man himself. <laughs> Hi, Santa. <laughs> so wholesome yeah they do um charity collections so there's loads of people coming knocking on your door so you always gotta have your change ready that was so sweet <laughs> i literally ran down my side side of my house and there were already three like little teenage boys standing at the end of my path and i was like you're right boys i'm wearing like i look like the biggest christmas fanatic ever i like ran out and i was like here's some change i'll follow you out and they were just like you're wearing your sliders I couldn't find my house key so i just left my front door open 
I was like, I have to see Santa. <laughs> oh, cute, very cute. Anyway, I've had a very productive day. I feel great. I filmed that ad that I talked about this morning for Instagram, and then I filmed two videos. Um, one of them was actually impromptu, and I think it's my, one of my favorite videos I've made in a while. So I'm really, really pleased. And I've nearly finished editing. Oh. <laughs> Excuse that. And I've nearly finished editing it as well. I'm really happy with my work today. Oh, he's going up the other side of my house. Literally, I get him on both sides. The guy who's being Santa, I mean the real Santa, must be bloody freezing. <laughs> he must be so cold. Luckily, he's got that lovely belly to keep him warm. <laughs> right, I need to eat something. I'm getting a bit delirious. <laughs> them bells and frolic oh my gosh some stolly eggnog gin and tonic make you tide gay and jolly good morning everybody as you saw i was just writing all of my notes for my neighbors about friday so i always put a little christmas card through the door and let them know i'm having a party because i just think it's polite um and also it kind of saves my bacon if my friends get a bit rowdy or if it's really noisy i put my phone number in so they can text me rather than knocking on the door um because there is just nothing more excruciatingly embarrassing than a neighbor knocking on your door in the middle of a party it's just so awkward <laughs> and it's happened to me a couple times before so i've learned my lesson i always write a note they can text me if there's a problem and usually if you let them know in advance they're much more lenient and don't text you at all but just in case um it's always polite so i've got six here um just like the surrounding six. Oh, and i've dropped them all good 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 two next to me one above me one behind me and then two in front of me i only know the neighbors that live above and i was just gonna text them but i was like no they deserve a christmas card as well that's how i've spent my morning um i'm actually not gonna vlog much today at all because i'm filming a different video today a different vlog honed in themed vlog for me the christmas spirits flow as early as september it's the best of seasons come and raise your glass and sing no need for other reasons glory to the newborn king i drink to santa and his helpers too here's to mistletoes and here's to you jingle them back okay i've had a productive little run out i went and did all of my like courtesy drop courtesy card drops to my neighbours. I put my number in the card and I've had a couple of texts, just basically them saying, that's fine, <laughs> uh, have a great party, Merry Christmas. Positive responses so far, which is all we can ask for. I then went into Holland and Barrett and Sainsbury's. I got myself pasta and bread, stocked up on my calves. I know I said I wasn't buying any Christmas decorations this year. I saw these leopard print baubles and they're all on offer because Christmas is like, next week so they've put all of the christmas decorations on offer because people they're assuming everyone's already decorated their trees really cute pink leopard print bauble so i was like steal and then these ones are absolutely gorgeous three look they look like planets so i couldn't leave them they're so pretty i mean i could leave them naturally of course i could have left them but i didn't want to diet coke because i haven't had one in three days and i've got the itchy protein cheese basically the main reason that i went out is because I ran out of ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is a supplement that I've been taking for three months now. First ones I ever got were from my vitamins, um, but they don't sell them anymore. I went to buy more and they don't have them on the website. They don't exist. It's an adaptogen and it basically helps to lower cortisol levels, so stress levels, and is good for like anxiety. Misfit and Nerdy always talks about ashwagandha and how much it can relieve stress and stuff, like the physical signs of stress in the body and also can help like your mental stress. So she always talks about it, so I was intrigued and I tried it and I have been trying it every single day. I haven't skipped a day and I have noticed a massive difference i don't know if it's a placebo but you guys know how much like karma i mean i've been a little bit manic recently that's just the phase in the episode i'm currently in but but in general like i really 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 think it's helping and i ran out about a week ago and this week i've been what's 
notice that. And this week I've been more reactive and more anxious than I have been in weeks. And I know I'm stressed, like I've got a lot on my plate at the minute and I know I'm more stressed than usual because I've got more on than usual. But I think I'm managing my stress much worse since I haven't been taking this every day. So I wanted to get some more. This is a different brand. Um, this is the Star Power Ashwagandha. Ashwagandha is expensive. I was surprised. Like this is definitely more expensive than the My Vitamin ones. So I don't know, maybe it's Pura, maybe it's just the brand. But I'm trying to figure out how to balance myself out hormonally and nutriently um, and supplementary as much as I can before medication. Um, trying to do it kind of as holistically as I can before I get onto ADHD meds. And I definitely think that these are helping. So I'm really happy I've got them back in my life. So I'm gonna take them now. It's two gummies a day. Let's taste them. They're not as yummy as the other ones. They taste very natural and they've got a horrible aftertaste, but but if they're good, they're good. I'll keep you updated. Only have one vitamin D tablet left for tomorrow. So I picked up a different brand because these weren't in stock. These are the Alive Vitamin D3 gummies. I am a child. I will only take vitamins if they're in gummy form because it actually makes me look forward to taking them in the morning. Stocked up on vitamin D, which I also think is definitely contributing to my SAD this year. And I also, because they were three for two, I've also picked up some CBD gummies as well. I've tried CBD oil in the past. It worked for me, but I didn't like taking it, so I didn't take it regularly. On days where I'm feeling like particularly anxious, like when I wake up in the morning and I feel heavy on my chest, um, I'm gonna try taking CBD in the morning and see if it helps to level me out a little bit more. This doesn't have like THC or anything in it, like it's CBD. Uh, you buy it off the shelf in the UK, it's legal. Before anyone gets confused, okay, um, I'm not just gonna get lean every morning. <laughs> We're not at uni, okay. So uh, I'm excited to try it, um, if these help me on those days where I really, really need it. So yeah, that's what I got, dropped off my cards. Um, I'm gonna have a shower, because I'm going for my wax in an hour. I don't want to, I don't want to go. Honestly, the idea of going for a wax right now is literally the worst thing in the world. But I've booked six waxes um, and I can book them whenever I want, but it's just a massive discount. So I basically have one every time I go away. I wanted one for Christmas because we're going in a hot tub over the Christmas break. So I just can't be asked to shave, honestly. So my waxes are paid for for the year. Um, they did like a massive Christmas discount and I was like, rather than paying it as I go, I know that I'll probably have about six waxes this year, so I'm going to use one of them today. And then I'm going to go get my nails done. I just added all of the little leopard print baubles, and I feel like the tree just looks so much more full and even pinker. This is what, the bottom is kind of annoying me, I feel like it needs like a couple more so there's like a string all the way around the bottom. That is now a complete tree. Just needed a little bit of padding, you know? Those are now the volume balls. <laughs> the volume balls, that sounds horrible. So today, I was supposed to be going to the theater with my sister tonight. Um, and if you were, well, I didn't mess this up. This wasn't me messing up, this is not my fault. This is out of my hands, but um, if you remember last year for my sister's birthday, I got her tickets to see Moulin Rouge. And then I forgot that I booked them and the date went by <laughs> and I literally spent a small fortune on those tickets and I was gutted and it was just such a disaster. This year I got my sister tickets to go see one woman show. Turns out she'd already seen it. I've also already seen it. It was meant to be tonight. There's train strikes. She's stuck in Oxford and can't get to London anyway. So we're not going to see that either. So annoying! While I've got the evening to myself, I'm going to... You're balanced on a Coke bottle, not even a can. I'm getting riskier and riskier with this. I'm gonna keep cutting out the letters for my sign and I'm gonna watch an episode of Wednesday. I'm very, very behind on watching it. I think I've only seen two episodes and I love it. Anything Tim Burton does, I am a fan. I just love how stylized everything is. Um, I love how like 
dark everything is. I absolutely adore it. And I'm really, really enjoying the show. The soundtrack's amazing. I really, really like it. I'm definitely too late in the trend to do like a Wednesday Adams makeup tutorial, but I just do, I, wow, stuttering. I still like to do a grungy makeup look, so maybe I'll just do that anyway and say it's Wednesday Adams inspired kind of makeup I like to wear anyway. This is quite therapeutic actually. It's um, calming me down after a somewhat tumultuous day. I love getting crafty. I don't get to do it enough. You know what I should be doing more often? My scrapbook. I haven't scrapbooked in ages because it's, it's a big, for me, scrapbooking is a really good anxiety tool. And because my mental health has been quite good recently, I haven't been reaching for my scrapbook. And it needs to be something that I do when I'm not feeling anxious as well. I never am like, God, I just need to do something. Because at the moment I'm like, God, I need to be filming or I need to be doing work or something productive. Um, and like using this good period that I have to like put my creativity into my work rather than what I would normally do which is feel anxious, not have the energy to work but want to do something that's creative and kind of mindless and that is when scrapbooking is really really good for me because I can kind of just listen to music, switch my brain off, I don't need to talk to anyone, like the camera. <laughs> talk to anyone i find it really really therapeutic and helpful but weirdly enough when i'm in a good headspace i don't do it so much because i don't need to do it as much so i need to bring out my scrapbook basically the moral of this story i need to scrapbook more so maybe in the period between christmas and new i'm not really here i'm going up to leicestershire um yeah maybe let's talk about new year's eve plans let's talk about my plans for christmas because um, I actually haven't really told you what I'm doing. On Monday, I am going to Taunton, which is why I've been a little bit stressed about Vidmas, because I need everything to be filmed and edited by Monday the 19th. So, tomorrow, for you. Christ, that makes me feel really, really soon. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to Taunton, and I'm going to be there till the 22nd. Um, and I'm taking Arms with me. He's going to go meet some of the extended family and I'm really, really excited. We're staying in this lovely log cabin with my sister and her husband and the baby. Albie Bear will be there. <laughs> so that'll be really, really nice. I've been looking forward to it like for months. I love my extended family. I've not seen them in so long. So that will be very lovely. It'll be nice for them to meet Arms. <laughs> I keep nearly saying his name. It might be time to nearly just start calling him by his name because I keep nearly saying it anyway. Arms is from Leicestershire. He's from the Midlands. So he's going straight from Taunton back home, which isn't in the right direction at all. But because of the train strikes, it's kind of the only way he can get back in time. So he's going to go straight there. I'll drive home by myself. And then I'll have the 23rd at home to basically unpack, repack. Because then on Christmas Eve, I am driving to Oxford to go stay with my sister Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and then driving home Boxing Day. Uh, I have the 27th, the 28th, 29th home and I'm just gonna, this is when I'm probably gonna scrapbook. I'll probably film a couple videos, just chill out and do a little bit of like nice work. I'm driving to Arms' hometown on the 30th and we're gonna go spend a day with his family, which will be nice. I've not met his mum and dad yet, so that would be lovely. And then me and him are spending New Year's Eve in Bristol um, with some of his friends. And it's bittersweet. I'm really excited for it. Like the plans look super fun. And I like, I think I only know one of his friends that's going and he's a really nice guy, so that would be nice. Um, but it's the first year in years that I'm not spending New Year's Eve with my best friends you guys know we always do the same thing every year we always go to Liz's parents house um but she's not doing that this year so for the first year in years I'm not spending New Year's Eve with my best friends I'm spending it with a boy who am I god I've sold my soul so if you're wondering those are my plans for Christmas and New Year and the Christmas period I'm basically going all across the UK I'm all over the place. Lots of driving is gonna take place over the next three weeks, which will be nice. I do love a good drive, but yeah, it's not gonna be, I don't see it being the most relaxing of Christmases. Like I, I'm a bit all over the place. I'm going out on the 23rd for with my friends for the big let's get pissed before Christmas event. <laughs> a very, very, very busy festive period for me this year, coming off of the back of a very busy month. So lovely and it's nice to have some new traditions to start and new experiences. 
and spending this period with new people. Mine and Arms' first Christmas together um, and like decorating the tree together and stuff was so nice. Like we were both saying like it was just so, it felt really like nice to like have our first Christmas and like spend some proper time together like decorating the tree and just having like a really fun festive day. So yeah, so in case um, the Christmas vlog gets a little bit confusing and you're like, where are you? Why are you driving all over the place? That is why, because I'm a, I am a bit all over the place. I reckon there's gonna be quite a lot of me in the car in the next vlog. Anyway, this has been nice, nice chat, nice chat. And I hope the sound of me cutting paper hasn't been really annoying. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna finish this, watch an episode of Wednesday, drink my tea, and then I'm gonna start editing the weekly vlog. Cool. She decided I'm gonna end the vlog here only Wednesday it's only Wednesday however like I said I'm filming today for another video and tomorrow is my shoot with Alex Cameron so I think I'm gonna vlog that as well for a separate vlog and then Friday is a separate vlog as well because it's my birthday party um, and Saturday I'm just gonna be a hungover mess anyway so actually you guys are not gonna miss anything I think I'm gonna edit the vlog now make the most of not going up to London tonight um, get some work done, drink a lot of tea, eat something yummy for dinner, sort my flat out because currently this is my reality. This is all party prep stuff. So I may actually just use my evening setting up the flat, getting it ready for the party. So I'm a little bit ahead. I'll film that for the party vlog. So yeah, I'm gonna end this weekly vlog on a Wednesday, which feels very strange. It's not the Sunday sign off at all, but you will see the next few days in the next few days so don't worry there is lots of <laughs> vlogging coming so don't worry there's two more vlogs to come before christmas so thank you guys so much for watching uh i hope you're enjoying vidman i'm really excited about some of the videos coming up i hope that you guys love them like i said let me know which has been your favorite vidmas video so far but yeah i'm gonna just get on with a little bit of party prep edit this video have a nice chilled evening alone um and get myself ready for being on camera naked tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, I love you very much and I will see you tomorrow. I want to wave at you, hang on. Can't blow you a kiss when I've got a cupper in my hand. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>